what's up? This is Jeremy Griff, Jeremy Tragic, back at it again with another video. Uh, today I want to talk to you guys about the importance of getting involved in or starting your own neighborhood watch program. You know, throughout time, there's going to be situations, you know, unwanted situations, but situations that naturally occur where you could question the sanctity of your environment. And you're going to want to make sure to protect yourself at all times. I'm a big believer in guns. I'm a big believer in the right to bear arms. Constitutionalist in a lot of ways. But it's important to remember that in understanding humanity and understanding society, things aren't always going to work the way that you want them to work. You know, there's always going to be miscreants, people who are misguided by evil intentions, and seek to exploit your weaknesses and being a man who's got more than a couple of weaknesses being paralyzed and whatnot you know it's important to get into an environment that's secure and safeguards you you know we all want a safe home and a safe environment so you know it's easy to start your own neighborhood watch program there are many things that you can do, you know, many ways that you can get involved. The main, the main thing is to find out whether or not there's a neighborhood watch program already implemented in your environment or in your neighborhood. So it's important, you know, to go out and meet your neighbors, to have one-on-one -on -one social contact with them, and to find out whether or not there's already a program in your environment. If there is a program in your environment, then by all means, go out, you know, incorporate yourselves into that into that program find out whether or not the people that are in your environment are are and whether or not that's the neighborhood that you want to be in <laughs> uh, that's a funny a funny way to look at the situation but you know we want to live in the best environment we possibly can so as people as a country you know as an individual Decide what neighborhood it is that you want to live in and then get into that neighborhood. You know, otherwise, find a neighborhood and make it your neighborhood. And, you know, it's easy to get a program like this started, like I was saying, or initiated. All you need to do is go out, meet your neighbors, you know, have, have build a relationship with them, and find out whether or not they're the kind of people that are going to protect you or not because that's important. You know, you really want to get involved and associated. You want to live in a place with like-minded people, like-minded individuals who are going to understand what it is that you're trying to do. They're basically of, of the same mind. they got the same kind of beliefs. Um, maybe you have meetings, you know, if you decide that you're going to start up a neighborhood, neighborhood watch program. Excuse me, I'm tongue-tied today. And um, print up flyers, you know, organize a certain day of the month where you all can get together and have like a social event, a social gathering. Try to, um, you know, build up the status of your neighborhood so that people actually have a reason to want to look out for you. That's always important. But... Also, take, take these things into consideration. Man. I was actually in a situation today where I invited a couple of, a couple of guys into my home who came by, you know, claiming to be a pg &E. pg &E recruitment hmm. guys I'm not sure if that's the right word but um, a couple of men who claimed to be from the pg &E, and they were well dressed you know had on their dress shirts and their ties and they were respectable young men nothing bad happened you know thank God but my point is is that 
a situation like that where you're trusting of someone can sometimes backfire in your face. And then if you're part of something like a neighborhood watch program where you have people looking out for you, you know, then that is all the better for you. That's like free security. This is why the alarm companies were started, because people got involved in environments and went into different neighborhoods, and they're looking for security. That's what it all comes down to, is looking for security. You know, there might be a time, or there might come a time, where you're not capable of looking out for yourself. You know, think about that. Are you in an environment where you can't protect yourself? Are you the kind of person who can't protect yourself? Are you more disabled than even, say, me? Are you, are you an elderly person? Someone who can't protect themselves should the bad occurrence occur? You know? This is the Neighborhood Watch program. This is why we look out for each other as humanity. You know, I'm very thankful to have the desire within myself to want to be part of that program, to want to be part of a program like that. And if you're an individual like me and you decide that you want to make your environment safe, not only for you, but for the people around you, then, yeah, by all means, you should definitely start a Neighborhood Watch program. The point that I wanted to get across with this video, most importantly, is that it's a personal choice. You know, it, it's one of those individual stands that you have to make. You know, as a person, do I want to be this kind of person? Do I want to have this kind of environment? Well, then step up and take that stand, you know, as a good citizen, as the person that you are. You know, if you're a person of good moral standings, these are, these are things that you want, you know? So go out there and, and get to know your neighbors. We should all, you know, we, we forget. We've come so far in culture and civilizations that we forget that this is the way that things used to be. You know, you, we used to live in villages. We used to live in more enclosed environments. As a, as a species, you know, we're, we're just starting to understand this big metropolis type lifestyle where no one really knows each other. You know, most of us get so busy throughout our day that we don't really know our neighbors as well as we used to. You know? And it's important. Things like that are important because that's what creates the emotional connectivity between people for them to care about each other. And that's important for us to have. We should all care about each other. This is one of the main fundamental teachings of Christianity. We should look out for each other, being good people. So that's what the Neighborhood Watch is about. And that is... a great opportunity to get more invested in yourself and become a better person. This has been a random crazy video from your boy Jeremy LCD, Jeremy Tragic. A lot of names. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a good day.